we were in Bonita Springs and they had suffered um, severe flooding uh, down some of their main roads. And my partner Chris and I were driving down the street one morning and there had been a, I don't know, teenage girl, probably 19, 20, and um, she got stuck in the flood water in her car. And Again, as a damage assessor, that's technically not my role, but as a human, it kind of, you know, it kind of says, oh, we should probably help out. Uh, everybody else that was in and around that area was, you know, taking pictures and video because that's the thing to do now. And uh, my partner, Chris, and I, we pulled off safely to the side of the road and we got out and we put our higher uh, waterproof boots on and we got out, helped her uh, push her car out of the flood water all the way up into a Home Depot parking lot and then kind of calmed her down for a couple of minutes, made sure she was okay, made sure that she didn't need to ride anywhere, that she had a friend to come and help her. And then we actually drove past that same uh, spot the next day and I pulled into the parking lot and her car was gone. So hopefully it was, uh, it was not towed, hopefully it was capable of being driven uh, through. But I, all in all, I mean, it's a blessing for us to, to, for me personally, to be down in a situation like that. I never thought that hiring into an energy company would um, give me the opportunity to help people uh, just on a, on a human level. I mean, I, I know that, you know, we all go down there, you know, it, it benefits us, we get paid well, and, uh, but for me, one of my main motivations was to help uh, as many people as we possibly could.